I praise your name, Lord. I thank I thank you. I give you the glory, Jesus. You are a wonder. You are a word, God. Father, I honor you. I thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome. Welcome to Overcomers, Deliverance, and Healing Ministry. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you once again. I want to welcome you, uh, newcomers, first-timers. First thank you for joining. Thank you for coming. This is a spiritual warfare prayer that we are going to, to, to deal with this morning. And I'm going to talk the subject called Deliverance Prayer to Break Generational Curses. Deliverance Prayer to Break Generational Curses. And uh, uh, as you know, there is curses that has been blessed on our on, on to us from our forefathers. Whether you like it or not, this curse is still existing unless they are broken. Jesus died and set us free, but still, if you cannot take a step of, of breaking these curses, it cannot be broken like that. You have to tell Jesus to break them. You have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior and give life to him and take a step and request him to break them. If you have not been asked Jesus to break these curses, the curses will remain on you. And it needs really to be to know and it needs to be broken properly. If the if you don't know if the if you are your pastor or if you are the these curses has not been broken, it will start it will bring a lot of problem and the curse and and the sickness and the diseases, poverty and all sources of evil. Because this 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 curse is existing and is working. How do I know that it's working? Look at the people in the church and look at their, their bloodline and see. You will see it's a pattern. The things that it happened, it happened to the father, to the mother, it happened to the children, children. So you wonder why that you are in the church and still you, you are you are saved. Jesus Christ is your personal savior, but you are still under this bondage, under these curses. So I am praying that God Almighty will deliver you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I pray that God will change your life and break these curses that is following you and the bondage. And as, as a curse, as generation curse is a judgment based on to individual because of continued sin in the family. Because of continued sin, once they sin in the family, once they say sin, if father, mother, or who is who is a Christian, continue sinning and doing evil against the, uh, against the will of God, then these curses would not go. Even Jesus did not die for, 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 for them. Once you continue sinning, then you, you, you say that Jesus did not pay your price. He did not die for you. Because Jesus died for us so that we can be, uh, we can be free. Now, this judgment is a bondage. Is bondage. The, the, person, the person lives under until the sin is repentant of renouncing and the curse is broken. The word clearly tells us that a person and actually a family can be cursed and that for several generations. Let's look at the, what, what happened. Confess the sin of your, our forefather's house. To confess the sins of our forefather's house. Now, we want to see from the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah 1.6. The book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah. 1, six. The Bible says, Let the ear now be attentive and the eyes open. Now, Nehemiah, Nehemiah is saying, Let the ears, your ears, shall be attentive and the eyes to open. The ear to be attentive and the eyes to be open. That thou may hear the prayer of the servant which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, the servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned. Now, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 
You know, when Jeremiah is talking about op open, it means that he is asking God to, to open his ears and his, his eyes towards the children of Israel. As we do these prayers, you need also to be very attentive and open your eyes wide too. Open your mouth wide and open your eyes wide to see the sins of your forefathers, the sins of your, your, your father's house and the sins of your mother's house. Listen the word of God. Check the Bible and see if this curses is following you, if you are under generational bondage. Now, when, when Nehemiah was praying and asking, like what David used, like David was praying, he was asking God, let thee hear now be attentive and the eyes open that thou may hear the prayer of the servant which I pray before thee now, day and night, day and night, hallelujah, day and night for the children of Israel, the servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my, fo and my father's house have sinned. You see, uh, uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah was confessing the sins, that they have sins. Nehemiah, Nehemiah has sinned and the sins of the father's house. So he confessed both his sins and the sins of his father's house. So we don't forget the sins of our forefathers, the sins of our forefathers, the powers of ancestors, the powers of, uh, of, our, of our father's house. It cannot make it can't make you to be happy. These powers, it can follow you and torment you and destroy your life. That's why Nehemiah was confessing and, and, and praying against these sins that the forefathers did. Our forefathers, some of them, they died without knowing God. They were cursing God. You know, they cursed God, they cursed God. They did so wicked, they were worshipping idols. Now, because of that, and, and the sins they committed, they put their children in bondage. So the children, they are growing in bondage and suffering. Therefore, I pray that God will break every bondage of your forefathers, every bondage of your, your father's house and your mother's house. Let them be broken to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my father. Yes, I pray that, that let the judgment of God locate and disable the throne of household which is in the in your father's house and your mother's house and, atta and attacking you in the name of Jesus. Yes, I pray that let judgment fire of God locate and disable, destroy the throne of household which is witchcraft and the and your father's house and your mother's house attacking you in the name of Jesus. Every power. Every power of your father's house and your mother's house attacking you. Let this power to be destroyed completely from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray that every altar of household wickedness in your father's and your mother's house, I command them to be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. I am taking authority. You know this power needs to be roasted. This power needs to be roasted it needs to be get to be roasted by fire the power the powers of your father's house it needs fire let them be roasted they are so wicked every altar of your of household wickedness in your father's and your mother's house i command them to be roasted by fire in the name of jesus i pray every curses of household witchcraft in your father's house affecting you be narrowed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be narrowed by the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed and be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. Christ has redeemed us from the curses. Let's look in the book of uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 8, 18 verse 20. Ezekiel 18 verse 20. The Bible says, The soul, the soul which sins shall die. The soul which sins shall die. Hallelujah. Thank you, Fairman. The soul, 
which sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the, fa the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteous of the righteous shall be upon him, himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Now, here, Ezekiel is, is bringing good news. Ezekiel is saying that the, the soul who sins shall die. You know, this, the wages of the, of, of the sin is dead. That's what New Testament says. So any soul which continues sinning, they will die. So now, the, the sin of our forefathers, this is another way that Jesus, God, was, God loves the world so much that he gave his begotten son that whatsoever believe in him shall be, shall be saved, shall not perish but have eternal life. And now, uh, uh, and, and a second says, Hello, when a son or, or what our forefathers did, they have sinned, let them be, die with their own sin that they have made. Now here, what happened? Uh, uh, as a care said so, but, but it is not so. It was continued like that, but eventually things changed again. Let's look in the Corinthians 3, verse 13. The Bible says, Christ redeemed us from the curses of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. Now, here, uh, uh, Corinthians is telling us that Jesus Christ redeemed us from the curses of the law. Thank you very much. We, we appreciate Jesus that has redeemed us from the curses of the law. Now, we are not under the law. Jesus has taken every curse and bondage from us. And then the same uh, Ezekiel uh, 18, verse 1 to that 2, if you can read this, you will see that there is a lot of stuff talking about, about the curses, about the sins that our forefather says. I am going to summary a little bit, and, and the rest you can read when you have time. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by repeating this Bible uh, proverb? Concerning the land of Israel, the fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on gauge. As I live, declare the Lord, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The souls of the father as well as the souls of the son is mine. The soul who sins shall die. If a man is righteous and does, does what is justice uh, and just and light. So here, if the person is sin, he will die. Yeah, and, and if he does the right and justice and right, he will live. That is the condition. Here, here it is condition. If you continue sin, then the sin will kill you and go to hellfire. But if you live justice and right, then you have no under the law, you have no sin. And now the Bible says in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 18, verse 19 to 20. Yet you say, why should not the son suffer for the iniquity of the father? When the son has done what is just and right, and has been carefully to observe all my statutes, he shall surely live. The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteous of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wicked of the wicked shall be upon themselves. So the righteous of, of the righteous shall be upon themselves. Then here, the Bible says in Exodus 20, verse 5 to 6, they said, the Bible says, Thou shalt bow down thyself for them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, I am a terrorist God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto third and fourth generation of them that hates me. Here is again the curses is being returned back. You know the curses was removed and the, and the children and returned back the curses because they, they, worship, they, worship, they worship the idols, they worship other gods, they bow down to the worship other gods. And now the, the curses has been returned back. If you see Matthew 17 verse 20, the Bible says, 
I did not I did I, I did not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets or the prophet the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I said to you, and and uh, uh, until heaven and earth pass away, not an ought a thought or a, a thought will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relax relaxes on one of the rest of these commandments and teaches others and teach us that to do not the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teach them will be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you the truth. For I tell you, unless you righteous exist, exist that of the scribes and the Pharisees will never enter the kingdom of heaven. When Jesus was speaking to the woman at the well, who was living with a man, she was not married. Or she was not married. You see now, the sins, the sin. Jesus was speaking about the sins. He's talking about the sins. Jesus addressed the fact of her sins that often her the salvation she needed. Again, when the woman caught in a third John eighteen verse one to eleven was brought about Jesus, he was talking. He told her, "Go and sin no more." You see the sin. The sin, the sin which was being talked, which what we were talking about, about about the, the book of Nehemiah, the sin that was being committed, committed. Now the woman was caught in the sin, and the sin, and the woman was brought. The Bible says that uh, in John one one, one John eight one to eighteen was 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 brought. Uh, the woman was brought because it was found sinned. It was it was it was sin. The sin that the sin is the the one which will make you to suffer and lose and and be in bondage. It is the sin of our forefathers. It, and unless you repent, unless we break the curses, we break those sins, then we will be free. Now, as you see, Jesus dressed. The fact of her sin, then he hovered and and then he hovered her the salvation. Jesus addressed the sin of that woman, and Jesus offered salvation to her. You see what is going on here. Again, when the woman caught in adultery in John, John four, John eight verse one to eleven was brought before Jesus. He told her, go and sin no more. Jesus told the woman, go and sin no more. Jesus addressed the sin of the woman. She, he, gave, he gave salvation and told the woman, sin no more. That is how dangerous the sin is. Jesus has redeemed us. Jesus has forgiven us. But as long as we continue in sins, then we are in bondage. We are the, the curses that we was pronounced, the curses which was brought to us, it will remain in us and our children, children. So uh, the sin produced sickness. Sin produced sickness, pain, and and, and 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 this is what Jesus said in the book of Matthew, Mark 2, verse 1 to 10. Our safe certainly connect connect sin with sickness. Jesus said, Rise, take up your bed and walk. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. So Jesus was stressing sin. He was saying, Sin no more. Now, after he talked about the sin, he set this man free, and the man was set free, and they reminded the man, Sin no more. Sin no more. Look at the book of John 5, 8 and 14. So Jesus was dressing to us, he was is dressing to this person, sin no more. Because the sins would bring all the curses, all generational curses, all evil that Jesus has paid for. Sin is that is what is making uh, the curses and gener the curses of, of our forefathers, our house, our, our father's house cannot leave us. Once we, we sin, we revive 
the sin that Jesus has forgiven us. Remember, Jesus was, Jesus paid everything. Jesus redeemed, redeemed us from the curse. But as long as we continue sinning, then these curses will manifest and come back and start affecting the whole family, your family. When you do something, don't think that you are doing to anybody. It will, it will turn around and come back to your house. It will turn back and come back to you. That is generational curses. That is the curses that you brought to your family. If you continue sinning and doing wicked stuff, this stuff, it will never go away. It will turn back. That's what we call generational curses. God has over, over deliverance. Joel 2.32, the Bible says, Where the prophet is declaring the terrible judgment of the day of the Lord, God is over, God is over of deliverance is open to whatsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord in Isaiah 1.18. So, whatsoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In Isaiah 1.18, the Bible says, God the Bible says, God over the invitation to come through your sins are, uh, are, are scarred, and he will make them white as snow. Now, God has offered salvation, although your sins are as scarred, according to Isaiah 1.18. God will wash them and forgive you and clean them as white as snow. Even if, you know, sin is bad, and people... When they are being doomed, they are upset. They feel like they have been waiting for God for so long. They give up and they start committing, uh, they start committing sins. And as they went and, and to the world, they backslide and they, they start talk, doing wicked stuff. And then the generational curses that Jesus, uh, that Jesus has destroyed, it come back. In the church, if you still remain with the anger, bitterness, that is sin. If you are not, if you are rebellious, that is sin. If you are live, if you are not living in righteous, as as the book of of Ezekiel was saying, that sin and that sin will will continue, and then it will pass to your children, children. That is generational curses. That is what we call generational curses. So we have to deal with the sins. The sins that, that, that Jesus is talking, the sins that Isaiah is talking, the sins that Joel is talking, that's the sin that we need to deal with them. If we want to live righteous and holiness, then we have to deal with our salvation. We have to look our salvation. We have to, because, let me tell you something. If you see people, if you go to, uh, to, the, to, to, to the, what we call it, mortuary. I don't know how you call it here in another name. I forget the another name they call it here. Where they put the dead body. You see people who are laying there. There are so many. Yeah, Some of them, they are going to hell fire without Jesus. Without God. It is very dangerous to backslide. It is very dangerous to continue sinning. Because you don't know when you will go. Some, anything can happen. And then you die. You leave the problem to your children, children. Unless these children will know how to deal with that sin, they will continue in bondage. So you put the, the whole house in bondage. And if you, you, you know how to deal with these, these sins, then you will make your family free. Your family will be free. They will not go what you, are, you, are, you have gone through. So it is good. It is for you and the benefit of your family. Right now, it's your time to check your, how, how you live. If you are living righteous, if you are living in justice and righteous, if you are a person who is very corruption, corrupt, remember that corrupt you are doing, it is not going to go away free. It is, it is passing to your children. That's why we pray. We need to pray very hard. And if you look at the book of Revelation 22, verse 17, it is the invitation in the new heaven, which says, Come, was whosoever would let him take the water of life freely. In this, in this, in this and other verse, the clear implication is that even although we are sinners, God desires us to come to him as we are, so that he can cleanse us. God wants us to come as we are, even if we are sinners. 
God does not look good people. He's looking sinners and is welcome us and forgive us. If you have been forgiven, then you are free. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 to 16. The Bible says, But it shall come to pass, if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, And is such statues which I command you today that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Verse 16 it says, Cast shall you be in the city, and cast shall, shall you be in the country. So, wherever you go, any country you go, the curses will follow you because the curses they are from your, your forefathers. God himself can put a curse because the curse, if, if your forefathers were not worshipping God, they were worshipping idols. And these curses will come because God is saying that he is a, is a, is a, is a holy God and is a, 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 a jealous God. So he will, he, these curses will follow you. Anywhere you go, it will go. You can go to any country, the curses will go with you there. So it's you to deal with them. Even if you can remain in your country and break that curses, you can go to another country and break that that curses. So the curses that will follow you will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Deuteronomy one to eight, one to two. It says, you know this is this this is how it is. You should understand the word of God and you should understand the thinking of God and you should know how God thinks and how He works. Here. Deuteronomy 15 to 16, it talks about the curses. And here, Deuteronomy 28 verse 22, it is talking about the blessings. So here, when you, you live in curses and sins, the curses will not leave you. But if you live in the blessings, sinless, holiness, then you will receive the blessings of God. It's number two, one and two. So you choose which life you want to take. Let's look on Deuteronomy 1, 20, 1, 28, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, And now it shall come to pass, if you intelligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and, and all these blessings shall, shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Now here, the Lord is talking that if you obey his voice intelligently, the blessings will come and overtake you. There will be no curse. The curses, you will be no, they, you will not live under the bondage. Your children, children will be blessed. You will be in a, in, in a blessing. The blessings will overtake you. There will be no sickness, no cancer, no high blood pressure, no deadly diseases. You will be blessed. You see, there's, there's some family. They are free from sickness, diseases, and they are living good life. They are living wealthy life, and they are enjoying the blessings of God. That is the blessing that God is talking. The Bible is talking to Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. And there's the curses talking Deuteronomy 15 to 16 about the curses that will never depart from you unless you know how to deal it with these curses. Hallelujah. It is very confusing, but the truth of the matter, anytime you continue to sin, those the curses will never leave you. You know, anytime you remain in sins, the, Jesus did not die for you. He did not pay for your sins. So your sins is still remain. You return everything back to your family. That is how it, it works. Total submission to God. When you totally submit yourself to God, you will actually open yourself up to his blessings. But if you do not, and you stay out in the world, away from God, then you are you not only open yourself up for various curses, but a lot of time, a person can even commit more sins that actually cause more curses to be, uh, to be placed upon himself or herself and the future generational uh, and future generations. Uh, a curse can give Satan your children. A curse can give your, Satan your children. A curse can open 
to, the, to your children. And Satan can have your children. For what our father did, the curse that has been blessed on them, it can open to us very easily. The devil will be looking the fire and look at this curse is still there. And then it will go to, your, to, the, to, to our children very easily. A curse can carry on for several generations. It can actually give Satan a, re, a, a reign over your children and the grandchildren without them even knowing it or knowing what caused it. Your children will be suffering. Their children and the grandchildren will go through some problem and they have no idea what is, what is this. What is this? They have no idea. Because the, the sins, the, the, because the curses as give as given as give to your children as given to the to Satan. The curses as give your children to Satan. The curse as transfer as transfer uh, 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 your children to the devil. The curses as transfer or as given your children to the devil. So the evil forces of the spiritual realm are very very strong and they are many many of them have several different attitudes and what one can can do another can they often work in conjunction with one another to accomplish that which they they have set out to do in the book of psalms 106 verse 17 9 and 10 as they as they laugh you see Psalms one or six uh Psalms one or uh Psalms one oh nine Psalms one oh nine let me check this I think I I I, I I I I did something wrong here it's not correct let's look at Psalms one oh nine this is what the Bible says Hallelujah praise be the name of Jesus Psalms 109, glory be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. 6, 17. 17. Yes, it's Psalms, it's Psalms 109. Psalms 109, verse 17 and, and 9 to 10. The Bible says, As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delight not in blessing, so let it be far from him. Let his children be fatherless and his wife be widow, become a widow. Let his children be continually vulnerable and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate. Now, here is a person who likes cursing. Now, we you know sin, sin, sin is bad. Now here David is talking about a man who like cursing. There's some, some people who like cursing. So because they like cursing, the Bible says, let it go, let it come upon them and extend to their, 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 their children, their wife and, and, and their grandchildren. You see? So the curses that promote people to curse, people who like the cursing. They are not cursing you. They are cursing themselves and they are cursing their children, children, even their own wife. Because it's blood going on. It's the blood that is talking now. David extend a strong curse upon the person who was who was cursing him. He, he, he even extended it to the to the children, to the wife and their children, children. If this is a curse, you see some children are vulnerable. Children are walking, are wander, wander, are wandering everywhere. That's why we have even children jail. We have children prison. A child of four years is 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 is, is just become something else. He has been planted a, a spirit of a, of seventy years old, a fifty years old, a thirty years old spirit that is operating in that child. You see, the child is misbehaving, behaviors is, is changing. The child is doing so horrible things. It is because of the curses which was pronounced. And the sin of your fa the father's house, the mother's house, has, has caused this child to go hellfire. Depression, you see, people are suffering. It is not fun. 
This is something which is connected with the curses. That's why we need to break them for, first and for, for all in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I pray that God will destroy every generation of curses in the mighty name of Jesus. God will bless 1,000 generations. Deuteronomy 7, 9 says, Let us say right here that blessings can also be passed down that the day that love me, I will press them to 1,000 generations. So, when you love God, God will bless you. When you don't love God, then the curses will continue in you. And God and the Bible says, He will bless you 1,000 generations. So, there is a generation which are blessed throughout, no matter when the children of Israel were blessed by God. And here is a man who wanted to cast them, put a curse on them. The curse did not work. The curse did not work. Once, the, 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 once, the, once you have been blessed, once you fight for this generation of curses, then the Lord will bless you. No one will put a curse and succeed. But when you are opened by cursing, by worshiping idols, then the curses will follow you throughout your generation. Even if Jesus died, Still, these curses will continue because of the sins. You know, here is the blessings and here is the curses. So I'm trying to talk to, 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 talk to, to put these things clearly to you so that you can check yourself and find out what is going on in your life and your children. children. Why is your life like that? Why is it that you have been praying, you are doing everything, but still things are not moving the right way? And uh, you see, check the, the sins of your forefathers and check yourself. Renounce and repent and conscious and conscious sins. The sins can give the devil illegal rights to come and, and, and have you. The sins of your forefathers can have illegal rights to claim your, you and your children. children. That's why we need to break them. When you, you, you commit adultery, you know many, many, many people in the church. This sin of adultery, fornication, it is a big thing. It is a disease. It is a virus. It is a virus. Many people, they are not faithful. People are not faithful. The spirit of stealing, the, 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 the spirit of lying, the spirit, the spirit of, of, of dishonest, dishonest, it is moving in the churches. That's why you see... The spirit of witchcraft are a huge, huge, it is, it is moving, it is in the church. So, when the, all this is in the church, when it, when it is operating in your life, then the blessings of God cannot flow. You will, you will study, you will struggle, you will struggle so hard. But here, the Bible says in Deuteronomy 7 verse 9, the, gener the blessings of God can, God can bless you to, uh, to, to a thousand generations. You are generation from one, two, three, a thousand generation, which means that the blessings of God will flow, never cease from, from your house. And nobody, no human being will put a curse on you and, and, and leave. That's what it is. So let's check ourselves. Let us look our life and find out if there is anything. If you want to know people, if they are saved or they are not saved, just let something happen. You will see how they will change. They cannot forgive you. Even if you beg them, please forgive me. They will pretend they forgive you, but they don't forgive you. That is sin. If you see people the way they react. I, I was having people. I know they are born again Christian. They are Christian. They are good people. Now something happened. Those people changed. They changed like, like, like wild animals. When I look at them, I see them changing and they, they are ready they, to, to let the person die. They cannot forgive the person and the person has a problem, has a mental problem, has the issues of mental. And you, you are a person who is a born again Christian who has to sympathy with this person, he has been affected by a, a memory problem. He has some issues. Instead of reacting, you ask Jesus to help. Jesus to take over. You have authority to arrest every demon. The madman of Kadara, the madman in the book of Matthew, Matthew, Matthew 5, he was possessed with demons. He was not himself. But when he saw Jesus, 
Jesus cast out those demons out and he was set free. So if you are a child of God, something has happened. Don't invite it to come and, and affect your life and your children. Don't enter into sins. Just arrest the spirit. Arrest it and command them to get out and become and be still still. So now to see that this, how, how the people manifest is when you see them, they react like wild animals and they are Christian. Now, when you are acting like that, then that sin has not died. That God has not forgiven you. The sins will continue and you, you, you bring them back. But if you stand and refuse and say, yes, these things has happened. Number one, I have to forgive immediately. Number two, I have to arrest any demon, any evil that has been done in my life. That because I know that God will deliver me and help me. Then these curses will leave you. And then the blessings will continue flowing. You know, you can have blessings, but the moment you start enter into sins, that blessings will go. And then the curses will take over. I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus. Yes, I'm going to pray that every generation of curses, anything that is giving certain legal right to come and torment you and, and take the blessings that God has prepared for you shall, shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I am asking any sin that, that, has, that manifests in your life, you try to stop, but it comes all the time. I pray that God will help you. The Bible says even if your sins are as red as, as, as red, as blood, the Lord Almighty, Isaiah 1 verse 18, it says, the Lord Almighty will wash you and clean you and forgive you all your sins. The Lord Jesus has paid everything for you. You don't have to go through this. You have to go, you have to live in the blessings of God. Therefore, I pray that God would deliver you and forgive you in the mighty name of Jesus. We confess our sins and the sins of our forefathers in the mighty name of Jesus. We have sinned against you. We have lived wickedly and we have repented, disobeying your voice and your, your, and your, and your will. So we disobey the voice of God and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, his will. Therefore, I pray that anyone that has disobeyed the voice of the Lord and his will, that God would forgive us, that God would forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have walked with the Holy Spirit whom you gave us to guide us, teach us, and show us all the truth. We have become spiritually immune, to, Im, Im, immaturity, wild, and unable to live out the truth. We have failed to do your will. Yes, I pray that God will help us. Because of our sins and disobedience, our land and the people have been cast. You know the land can be cast and the... And the, and the and the people can be cast. God forgive us. Forgive us that God, every cast that has been blessed in our land, has been blessed in our country. God, Father, forgive us and let this cast be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, the nation can invite the curses when they, they allow sins to enter into the country. When you allow sins, when you, you give illegal rights to sins, so the, the land can be cast, the nation can be cast. I, am, I will talk soon about the land, how the land can be cast. So I pray that God will break every curse that has been blessed in our city, in our land, in our community, in our houses, in our family, in the mighty name of Jesus. We, we ask that you are a massive God, full of gracious and love, and we ask that you forgive us our sins and cleanse us and all our sins in the mighty name of Jesus and all our righteousness in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, hear our prayers and open your ears and our distress. Lord, I pray that he, let God hear our, our prayers and open our eyes and our ears to hear in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, hear, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, hear, O oh Lord, forgive us. O oh Lord, listen and act. Do not delay for your own sake. Our God, for your people have called you by your name. I pray that break the curses that have come upon our land and our people. We humble asking you, Lord, to help us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bleed the blood of Jesus. We pray that God would help us and deliver us. We humble asking God that God would forgive us and forgive our land in Jesus' name. We bind all rules 
spirit, spirit, spirits, Satan has sent to, to carry out those curses against us in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, the word says, wherever we bind on earth should be bound in heaven, and wherever we lose on earth will be loose in heaven. In the book of Matthew 16, 19 and 18 and 17. So we are bound and loose and Lord Father to have mass on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord will free us from every curses and anything that has given the legal light to the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ anything that is hidden, hidden in our life. Anything that is hiding in our life that will give the enemy access access to operate on our life. I pray that God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. God will break every curse, every bondage that we are living in. That that is that is making us to suffer or to go through what we are going through in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I want to thank you, Lord. Father God. I thank you for setting the foundation of the earth, for giving life and for giving your son, Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you are doing to our life. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us. Thank you, Lord, my Father, for all what you have done to us. Thank you for breaking the curses. Thank you, Lord, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for setting us free in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that those people who are living under the curses, those people who are under the bondage, Father God, my Father, I pray that they will be set free. They will be set free because Jesus has set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, let the Holy Ghost fire. Let the power in the, in the blood of Jesus to break and set us free completely from the bondage, from the curses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I give you all the glory. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I break every unbroken bondage. I break every un unbroken curses. I break them. I break them. I break them. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I destroy any hiding curses that is hiding that you have no idea what is this in the mighty name of Jesus I cast them I break them in the name of Jesus anything that has been blessed as put in your family to destroy you to destroy your children let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus my God and my father in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for our children I pray that any curse anything that has been blessed on our children I break them I destroy them you will not bear your children with your hands I shall not bear my children with my two hands I sh your children shall not die you shall not die premature any curses that has been placed on you any spells and chance that has been placed on you any chance that has been placed on you I destroy them and I break them any powers of witchcraft that has been placed on you any materials that has been placed on your children let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus my God and my father in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I want to thank you father I bless your name. I bless your God. I pray that God, my Father, help us, God. Forgive us, my God and my Father. Deliver us, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty, oh God in heaven, I want to thank you, Lord. I, I want to give you all the glory. I give all the glory, my Father. All what your people are going through. Father, you are full of mercy. Your mercy is God. Your mercy, God, my Father. I pray that let your people be set free. Let every sickness and the diseases that is that is that is tormenting them, that has been blessed by the enemy, that is uh, uh, attacking your people, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break every curses that has refused to go. The curses of your forefathers, the curses of your father's house, the curses of your mother's house. I destroy them. Let it die. Let it get out of your life in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Almighty, my Father, in the name of Jesus, I call upon your name. I call upon your presence. I call upon you, Lord. You are the God of gods. You are the King of glory. You are the King of kings. My Father and my God, I thank you, Lord. I bless your name. I give you all the glory, Jesus. 
Loving Father, I thank you. Loving Father, I worship you. Loving Father, I honor you. I give you all the glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I honor you. Jesus, I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So, if you are not aware that this curse is still existing, as this prayer has gone, has been, has been praying, some of you, you will feel something is coming out, like a person is, is coming out. You will feel things, something has, has come out of you. And you will see your children, some of you, they have been set free. Because the curses has been operating since you didn't know. Any time where the sins is, is working, where the sins is, the curses will never leave. Sins bring back the curses. Therefore, I pray that any sin that you try to stop but it is continue coming, you continue sinning, you tried your best but it's still coming, I am addressing that sin now. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I command you to die. I I'm sorry to mention this. One pastor, a senior pastor, he came to me and told me, uh, uh, Prophetess, please pray for me. I have a big problem. I am a fornicator. I, 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 I have been, I have, I've been doing fornicator. I'm, I'm doing fornicator. This sin is bad. It's going to destroy my life. Please help me. There's nobody I can take this. I feel to share with you so that you can help me. And then I prayed with that pastor. The pastor was set free. Yeah. So there's some, you know, it's a pastor that's in the church. This pastor, he goes to sleep with the prostitute. He go, he has girlfriends outside the church and he's married. So he, he feels that he, he tried to do this, but it, it, it is difficult for him. Yeah? You know, adultery is a big sin that it is very difficult even people to stop. That's, you see, innocent people in the church, they are so good, they are wonderful, they are praised and worship some of them, the, the leaders in the choir, but you find this sin is still attacking them. Now, because of this prayer, some of you, you are going to be set free. Some of you, you are going to live a life of faithful and holy life. Some of you, you will find yourself that you, you are, your life has changed completely as this prayer is going on. You, you, are, you know, some of the, the, the problems that you are facing, you have not done anything. It is from the forefathers. That is what is coming to your life and revive the sins and revive the curses. The curses was removed, but it, is, it, is, it, it, it comes back when it when it 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 is revived by sin therefore i pray that god will deliver you totally in jesus name let the whole spirit that jesus gave to us the whole spirit which released to us let it come and and destroy and remove every sin that that is attacking you in the mighty name of jesus christ i cover you with the blood of jesus i cover your children with the blood of jesus i bleed the blood of jesus over your children and your family and your house in jesus name i throw a war fire around you around your house around your family in the mighty name of jesus as we are continuing with this ember month, I destroy the spirit of it and the flesh and drink of blood. I pray that no one will be shed blood in your family. No one will die. No one will be sacrificed. No one will be the, the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Your family will not be sacrificed of thanksgiving. We are ending, we are facing thanksgiving where the sacrifice will be offered. The altar of Satan are going to offer a lot of blood. So your child, your family will not be a sacrifice meat to the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind it and I destroy it. I command them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will sacrifice their own children. They will, they will donate their own family, not your children in Jesus' name. Any occult person in your family, flea mason, uh, devil worshippers, uh, witchcraft, wherever they are, they will not locate your family. They will not locate your children. Your children will be covered by the blood of Jesus. That's why you need to be partner with the overcomers, the rivers and the healing mystery. You need to partner with us. You need to call me to pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You need to be covered. You need a spiritual mother and father. You need to get a cover to cover you in the mighty name of Jesus. Call me if you need prayers, if you need a cover, if you need to be partner with us, call me and I will pray with you. Our number is 
0242-5207. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Call us. Call me. Thank you so much. Our number is 647-608-5207. Our landline number is 905-487-7196. God bless you so much. Go to our website, www.overcomers. DH Ministry .ca. Also remember to go to our uh, to, you can call us you can call us so God can help you in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. We thank God for you. God is so good. God is so wonderful. He is a mighty God. We give God glory and honor. Thank you so to our ministry if this ministry is blessing you so to our ministry so to our ministry if this ministry is blessing you so an amount and god will help you in the mighty name of jesus thank you very much god bless you uh i need you to call me if you need prayers that's what i can say you need these curses to be broken if you are not sure we will break it and, and you will be free in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Bye. Bye-bye.